Hello, I am excited to share with you another midweek challenge. Uh, these are just opportunities for me to share my heart with you and help you grow in your own faith journey. So uh, this week I want to read from Psalm 119 uh, verses 103 and 104. It says this, How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. I gain understanding from your precepts, by them I hate every false way. So. Uh, that's David. He's just talking about how much he loves and delights in God's work. And what I want to just challenge you with is today is just do you love the Word of God and how can you learn to love the Word of God even more than you already do? And of course, uh, that just means spending time in God's Word every day that you can, just taking uh, 15 minutes, half an hour, uh, and uh, uh, I would encourage you to do it actually at the beginning of your day so that God's Word is the first word you hear. And if you're able to, also, even at the end of your day, have some way of reconnecting with God's Word, even if it's just one verse. But first word and last word of every day, if you can give that to God. Uh, I just want to encourage you this though, God has given us a book, so it's worth reading. So uh, I, I know you probably hear me challenge you this a lot, but I really believe that this is the key and core to everything else about growing in Christ. So I wanna just share with you a little bit of what I do sometimes uh, in sermon prep, because I think I've shared with you before a little bit about how I do my Bible reading, but it's fun to share with you a little bit about sermon prep. So um, right now we're doing a series on grace. So to prepare that series, first I just felt that that was where God was taking us. Then I uh, just started praying around grace, looking at scriptures around grace, and I actually started reading books as well uh, around grace. Now, now, I had the space to do that in my reading time. Um, so a couple of the books I picked up, books that I've actually already read, but I just wanted to reread. So one is called Unlimited Grace by Brian Chappell, and uh, it's a fantastic book, so I read through that. Then another one is called Grace is Greater by Kyle Eidelman, and I'm actually only partway through that right now. I just wanna be reading that while I'm preaching this series, and it just puts me in the right heart, the right state of mind, gives me the right thoughts, and so forth, and uh, uh, helps kind of protect me also from going maybe in wrong directions around this topic, because here's some guys who've obviously spent a ton of time and energy in that given topic. Well, as I began to pray through this series and prepare it, I really felt like I should, instead of just taking verses from here and there, just take uh, one area. And the area that I felt was the book of Galatians. So that's a book of the Bible that focuses in on grace. And so uh, as I started to study that, you just read it over a few times. Then I have, the, the again, the uh, privilege, I guess, of having access to uh, some commentaries on Galatians. That's people who've written about that book of the Bible. So I grabbed them. One's by Timothy Keller. He's one of my favorite Bible teachers. And lo and behold, he has one on Galatians. So I was like, that's fantastic, right? So I read through that, mark it up, underline it. Uh, another one's by John Stott. This guy actually is my favorite guy when it comes to commentaries and writing on scripture. So I grabbed that I, and I start reading through that. Uh, then I have one by John MacArthur. And John MacArthur is a little more controversial of a Bible teacher, but his early stuff is some of my favorite commentary work and I absolutely love it. So, uh, and his work, actually commentary work in particular is fantastic. And then another guy named Warren Wearsby, um, who I pretty much check every time I'm preaching any passage. I love just seeing what he uh, says about it. So I've got those four commentaries uh, that are my core commentaries as I teach on this book and preach on this book. And um, I don't actually preach from these. I just read them uh, uh, so that I'm aware of the text and aware of how people have handled the text and, and so forth. Now, here's the deal, though. As I read these and as I study Galatians and as I, as, as I prepare to preach it, I love it. This is not a burden to me. This is not like a oh man, you got to do study and it's really hard. And it's, uh, uh. No, this is a delight. This is God speaking to me and then God speaking to us and like, wow, God, how, how sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth, right? I gain understanding from your precepts. By them, I hate every wrong path. I mean, this is just, this is good stuff. So uh, I just share that with you, a little bit of study side of uh, scripture. You can study scripture, you can read scripture, you can meditate scripture, you can memorize scripture. The one I'm sharing with you right now, Psalm 119, verse 103 and 104, basing this on, is a, a new memory verse for me. 
So you can memorize it. You can do all kinds of different things with Scripture. The point is, God invites us to love, delight in His Word. I hope that challenges you this week.